Joy is important for everyone. I think it's a human experience that all children deserve, and that's even more important when children are going through challenging hospitalizations or treatment journeys. JoyRx provides programs that focus on the emotional and mental well-being of children through JoyRx Music, JoyRx Mentorship, and JoyRx Nature. Connor was a regular kid at school one day. He started having a headache. It was the worst headache of my life. That's how I describe it whenever I talk about it. When we got to the hospital, he was unconscious, and it was the hardest thing I've with experience. Overall, we ended up being in the hospital for six and a half weeks, um, but we didn't want to leave his side. With Kid Prescribed Music Medicine, our highly trained musicians work with kids of all ages and diagnoses, really allowing them to pick the musical experience that will make them feel better. There was multiple times when Joy RX came in and it was so, it felt so healing. At that point he was very weak, so we had his, he had a little keyboard. When I first started playing it was a lot of just finger mashing, but you could hear a little bit of a song, you could tell. And I don't know, I, I, I feel it helped with my, my fingers and getting them in the right place and clicking the right note. We know how much he loves music, and there was a bright spot on our days, on our very, very dark days. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? JoyRx Mentorship Program matches caring, trained adult volunteers one-on-one -on -one with kids going through lengthy treatments. So a mentor will go up to the hospital to meet a kiddo during their treatment appointment or an in-hospital stay. I started getting hip pain and they decided to do x-rays, which they don't usually do just cause. Well, I remember them telling me I had a tumor and I remember them telling me it was pretty big and I've never seen three doctors cry at once. It was definitely really abrupt at 15 to kind of go through something that life-changing. I think I saw Casey more than I saw anybody else going through chemo. She visited me probably twice a week. Very quickly, I think just came in and was super friendly and. Uh, kind and compassionate. It was one of those things that I think I liked about her. She was just so like, how can I help? What do you need? She understood and was there for me when life was really hard. I think there's so much research on the, the healing power of nature and just taking that breath of fresh air, hearing the birds or the trees rustle. It's such a different environment than if you're stuck in the hospital where it's sterile and you just hear equipment. The Alexandra Ellis Karen Cabin is located in the Oregon coast and it provides no cost uh, five day retreats for families to really take a break from the hospital environment and immerse themselves in nature. The home is located on about 24 acres, it has its own private lake, and so it's really an opportunity for families to reconnect with one another and to really kind of build some positive memories. When people think about joy, it's one of those easy words to express, but I think a child's outlook on life when it comes to treatment is a really big thing. We're really focused on joy because we firmly believe that it takes more than medicine to treat seriously ill kids and their families. We believe that joy helps kids to feel better. Donations help us to bring in instruments to the hospital. They help us to train our mentor volunteers. They help us to keep the cabin safe and stocked for families who go out to visit. And so we really rely on the community to help support us so that we can support the families and the kids. I don't know if I would be here if it wasn't for that love and support that I got. I think Derek is a must. I, I hope that program, the program continues for a long, long time. Yeah.